Hey guys, I sip here and welcome to Python tutorial number 9. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at something different from what we have the past two tutorials. We're actually going to leave functions for uh, quite a while because we've covered just about everything I wanted to cover for them for now because that's all we actually need to know for what we're going to cover in the following tutorials. Uh, but we will come back to them with more detail in the future, so don't worry about that. Uh, what we're going to be talking about today, though, is just uh, some general programming things and Python-specific programming things as well. So, say you have a string, it's hello world, okay? Uh, now, you want to isolate a single character in that, but as far as we know, that's not possible. Well, here's where your luck changes. Uh, that there's something called indexing in Python, which allows us to look at a specific character in any sequence. Uh, now, as far as sequ sequences are concerned, we only know about um, strings, uh, but we will learn about new sequences soon, so don't worry about that. But yeah, sequences, because really strings are actually just um, a bunch of characters. There are an array of characters. Um, that's how they're stored in memory. It's just when we see them, they look like a full, proper um, word. That's why they're actually called strings, because they're characters strung together. Okay, So, we can uh, do something called indexing to look at any character, any um, single element, sorry, I should say, element in any sequence. Okay, So, in this case, we're going to be trying to look, let's try and look at just the W in world. So all you need to do to index is type the uh, name of the sequence, the variable name of the sequence, then two square brackets, and the then the position of the character. So now my character is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's the seventh character. So if I type seven, that should get it. Wait a minute. Oh, what's this all about? That's not W. That's next to W. And the reason being is because all computers have, uh, in sequences, a zero offset, which means the first element in any sequence in a computer, uh, as far as I'm aware anyway, is always indexed at zero, okay? So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? So in this case, the character at the, pos at the seventh position is actually index six. So I'm going to index character six and then I get W, okay? Um, now, another cool thing about indexing is you can index minus numbers, okay? Which means if you don't know the length of your string or your sequence, I'll say, but you want to find the last character, uh, you can do that. Or, well, um, you can't do that with indexes alone but you can find the second to last character with indexes alone. Uh, you, you'll see how you can find the last character by itself alone. Uh, you probably can find the last character with indexes, but I, I just can't remember how. But anyway, let's uh, if we do index x minus 1, let's see what that gets. Oh, okay, it does actually. It changes with, um, with this. I, it was a different one I was trying that before with something else. But yeah, okay, so we can get the last character. That's index minus one will be the last character. And so we can use minus numbers to index. Sorry about that guys. That's fine. Minus numbers work. And so I could instead of referring to index six, I could refer to index minus six to get the W. Because there are five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve characters. So sixth position will be six and minus six is always the same. Okay. Uh, so that is uh, indexes, and you can use indexes on s all sequences, like I said, but also a lot of other things that you wouldn't expect. Um, take a look at something like this. If I do raw underscore input, okay, but I index it by minus one, okay, and I run it. It doesn't do anything at the moment, but let's go ahead and type in hello world. And it gets the ex exclamation mark. 
That's because it runs the function, we talked about running the function, it gets the user input, returns the user input, and then indexes the user input, which is obviously a string, it's formatted it because it's raw input, uh, and it gets the minus one index of the string, which is the exclamation mark, okay? So pretty cool thing, indexes, you can use them on tons of stuff and they're really sweet, okay? Next thing we're going to look at now are uh, slices, okay? Slices are uh, very similar to indexes, actually. You'd be surprised how close they are to indexes. Uh, but they're quite a bit cooler as well, you could c you could say. Because slices allow us to not only just get one character or the whole string, that's what we know how to do at the moment, one character or the entire string. They allow you to get a range of characters in the entire string. So as opposed to just one character or the whole thing, you can get a couple of characters, okay? So the way we slice is very similar to indexing. We type uh, the, na the name of the sequence, sorry, the variable name of the sequence, two square brackets, and then the beginning of our slice, uh, and remember that zero offset. So I'm going to try and get um, the, wall, the word walled, okay? So my beginning would be six. And I'm going to go to, and hi this second character is the neck is the closing index. But just so you know, for some reason, um, they've chosen to have it so that the zero offset applies for the start, but not for the finish. They've allowed, they've incremented it when you slice, so you can actually put the actual ending. So here, forget the offset. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So it's the eleven position position, sorry, and normally you'd expect me to put 10, which I would too, but for some reason, it, like I said, they changed it, so you can put 11, okay? And if I run this, I get walled, as expected, okay? Uh, now, some of you are probably thinking, can you use minus indexes, though? Because that would have been a lot easier, and you're right, you can, so I could uh, get 6 minus 2, you're probably thinking, and if I run that, no, because for some reason, slices act a bit differently when you minus index them. And minus 1 is actually the second to last, so minus 2 is the third to last. Uh, so if I want uh, to do minus 1, that would get me the correct place. So minus 1, that will get me walled. Um, if I wanted to just get to the end, uh, but I don't know... Um, but I don't know the actual number of characters to the end. So normally, if I knew it, I would put 6 to 12, right? Or 6 to 11. 6 to 11, it would be... Whoops. Yeah, okay, 6 to 12, let's say, just because I want the exclamation mark in there as well. Uh, but if I didn't know the end of the string, um, but I wanted right to the end of the string, not just minus 1 of the string, I could do... I could leave the ending, I could leave the second number out. You still have to put the colon in though, because otherwise you're indexing. Without the colon, you're just indexing. So if you put the colon in there, but leave the number out, that will, as Python assumes you mean six to the end. And it, like, like as uh, it's expected, it gets to the end. Uh, and the same thing works if you leave the first number empty uh, and put in the second number, it will assume you mean the beginning and get to the end number. So I'm going to put to 5, so that gets the hello. And you can leave both empty if you want, which gets the whole string. Okay. Um, now another thing in slices is the step. Okay. So say you only want every... Uh, say you... Uh, I'm going to reassign... Oh no, I can't actually. Okay, this will work still. Um, Say I want only every uh, every other character.